seeing this year and I'm really enjoying is that brands are up there actually talking about the challenges they're facing. All these marketers are asked to do more with less. So Lee and I thought we'd give you our good sides, but okay, we gotta look at the camera. I guess we gotta go here. So everybody, back here at Brand Innovators 2023. Our clients, but it's all very strategy based. You talked about NFTs and those things. Those are tactics looking for a strategy. Exactly. And the Brand Innovators events is one of the highlights of it every single year. Whether it's inflation, whether it's consumers having just too many choices. Swiftly is helping retailers solve their challenge of how do they capture very profitable retail media dollars at scale. Let me ask you a question. How do you overcome the fact that I like to say that Amazon owns retail search? So taking on Amazon and e-com is going to be a tough challenge. But like I said, if you look at all retail, et cetera, for the global, for across the world or in the U.S., the much bigger opportunity is in-store. And so the best way to do this is you're going to be, have to become a part of a network. I am here with Brandy Johnson, the CEO of the Coupon Bureau, which isn't solving an individual company problem. She is working on solving an industry-wide problem. In the coupon industry today, there is a format called A110. It's basically the barcode structure for the coupons that we have today. Inherent challenges with it are it's susceptible to fraud. Coupon for a year? Yes. And if I put my marketer's hat on, there's no attribution. $11 billion, I said. $11 billion with a B. Billion with a B. So the Coupon Bureau is basically an industry-managed technical nonprofit. Right. And what we're here to do is to support the new standard, make sure that all the various parties can connect the stakeholders. So we've got CPGs, we've got coupon providers, we've got retailers, we've got clearing houses, and make sure now that they can connect to this um, ecosystem where the data can transfer in the ways that most of us in are real used time. To. You guys might have seen me earlier. I did an interview with a, a guy named Steve Harper. Steve does something called a ripple effect. It's just one of his many businesses, but his let's ripple. And his whole concept of rippling is everything you do has a ripple effect. The reality is today, so many marketers that are here are not going to be doing the same thing in two years. They might not be doing the same thing in the company they're in. They might be doing it in another company. They might be consulting. We're going to have 1099s, W-2s, 1099s, W-2s for the rest of our careers. So return on relationships and the way you've been evangelizing it way ahead of time is the way business is going to be done. And it's also not only incredibly important from a karmic perspective, paying it forward, but it's how the lessons we've learned in each one of these jobs, each one of these contracts, gets passed along. And the relationships you build along the way, to me, it's, it's, it's like a wallet that you're building. It's, it's currency that you're acquiring. I like to say do for others without expectation of anything directly in return because that will come back to you. Your brand is what you do. Your reputation is what people remember and share. And when you do things like that and you make friends like Doug, then they call on you, you call on them. It doesn't matter. No one's keeping a scorecard. Be a person, not a persona. Yes, be You have be to be a human be first. Right. Be who you are and remember that you're going to want to call them back. You're going to want to text them back because we're all people first before you know, we're title and before we're I, I used to say to my, I'd love to hear you just reiterate what you talked about when it came to that. Well, this oh, idea that brand performance marketing and direct result marketing are separate is bullshit, right? Like this idea that someone puts out a commercial but it's not going to drive revenue is wrong. Everything you do should be leading to revenue. So, so brand awareness and direct result should be hand in hand. And if you find a marketer who goes, well, I'm a brand awareness marketer, you probably don't know what you're doing. Like, you should be driving the result. Great, but there is a buzzword that some people have been talking about, and it's AI. Now, most of it's been talking about in the content arena, but Jeremy works with it in the pharmaceutical side of things, in the biotechnology AI. So, yeah, uh, I work for a company called AppSci. We're out of Vancouver, Washington, near Portland, and uh, we are a generative AI drug discovery company. And with it, but just the fact that we can, you know, right now, drug discovery can take five years and cost billions of dollars, if we can edge down e not just years, but months or even weeks off of that process, it all, we, all of us as patients, as consumers stand to, stand to benefit from that. What I'm seeing this year is real talk about problems that brands are facing, challenges they have. How do they overcome them? People are really saying is that the risk of standing still is actually higher than the risk of change. Because what the world really needs is a different type of thinking, a different way of harnessing talent, a different way of getting around these increasingly complex and challenging issues. Because on, on the one hand, 
Companies need influencers. They need good media. They need good content to sell their to sell their products and to really represent their brands. We recently did the Ben Affleck Duncan Donuts uh, or Duncan. Oh, that was event. one of yours. That was ours. So we literally put that whole deal together. Right. So we've uh, so we we brought Ben and uh, and Duncan together for a two year deal. Uh, and it's about content, but it was something that he really wanted to be a part of and direct. Right. So he just didn't want to be a, another face and, yeah, exactly, another, you know, just didn't want to be, a, you know, a celebrity doing something. He really wanted to u utilize his craft. Right. Content creators. Well, it's about authenticity, yes. right? And that's, I think that, that that's a theme that you're hearing a lot more. It was something I talked about with the metaverse as well, but consumers want to have an authentic relationship with their brands. Relationships. Sometimes for 10, 12 years, I've known Steve Harper, who I call Ripple On. Well, the ripple effect is any action, big or small, that you make an impact on another person. And this guy has made a huge impact on me. Well, it's very much like you think, right? It's like, you know, casting that stone into that crystal clear pond, right? That action, that rock is, you know, you don't know how deep it goes or really what kind of impact it has, but it ripples out and it always ripples back to you. And most people don't realize it. They, they don't take the time to understand it. And that's what I do for it. others because it's exactly. good, it might not come directly in return. Be good to people. Be good to people. It's, yes. You know, you build a rep. I like to say that a brand is what you do. A reputation is what people remember and share.